The Story of Abraham in Judaism Abraham is seen as the father of the Jewish people and the patriarch of Jewish faith. He represents the first steps taken in the formation of Hebrew religious practices that would eventually evolve into Judaism. Most people at the time believed in polytheism, which is worshipping many gods, but Abraham taught others to only worship the one true God. God's good creation was overwhelmed by violence and sin, but with Abraham, God wanted to start all over. In 2000 BCE, God told Abraham to leave his home in Ur and move to Canaan. God makes Abraham three promises, a promise of a relationship with God, numerous descendants, and a land for them to inherit. However, both Abraham and his wife Sarah had no children and were both in old age. When Sarah was in her 90s, she bore a child who they named Isaac. God tests Abraham's faithfulness by asking him to sacrifice his firstborn son. Abraham, putting his faith in God, decided to do so, but was stopped by an angel. Abraham is seen as an example of a servant who is faithful to God in all things and follows all commands. Abraham had no scriptures or traditions on which to draw. He put his faith in a nameless God, showing his ultimate loyalty and faithfulness. From this story, two ideas would develop that would evolve into Judaism. The first is the idea that Jews represented God's chosen people. God chose Abraham and promised to bless him and raise a nation. The second is the idea of a promised land. It was Abraham, his son Isaac, and his grandson Jacob, who sought to keep a covenant with God and develop a community in the Promised Land. These two ideas are the foundation of a covenant that God made with Abraham and his descendants. This covenant connects God to Israel and Israel to God. A sign of this covenant is shown today through the circumcision of young infant boys.